Today, as we bring in Rick Santelli from Chicago, I'm told you want to react, Rick, to a couple of things you just heard. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, when Steve said the market is wrong, all I could think of is the only entities that aren't correct in this equation about what the Fed may or may not do, other than the fact that the Fed's track record, whether keeping rates too low too long, starting to raise them uh, too late, or not understanding the durability of inflation, or the fact that no matter how high they raise interest rates, they're not going to be able to counteract horrible government policies that have helped fuel inflation. But the Fed Fund Futures contract is misunderstood, misquoted, and every economist, I don't care how high up they are, what institution they work for, they're not correct. Fed Fund Futures is not accurate beyond the next meeting and only when you get close. And if I recall, if I look now, it doesn't have them priced in for June. And even though July is well down the road, it doesn't have them priced in there either. The contract was never designed to be telling you what's going to happen meeting, meeting, meeting down the road. This is something that's grown up because the market was slow for so many years and the Fed did so little for so many years. But that is the flaw. Markets aren't wrong. That's like saying when the Fed kept interest rates too low, which was wrong, that you should have gotten more interest. It was wrong, but you didn't. The markets give you and take away whatever the closing price is. It's never wrong because you can get a check. Try getting a check out of the Fed. Oh, you can't because they're in arrears trillions of dollars. I rest my case. And the 10-year note auction today was deplorably weak. And even though it's a reopening, it does underscore that there's many traders out there paying close attention and really not listening to some of the economists' interpretation of how they read the tea leaves in a marketplace of Fed fund futures never designed to be a crystal ball. Steve, I would guess that you want to respond. First thing I want to say is Rick is my favorite rocket scientist when it comes to the bond market <laughs> and all things that have a yield on them. I think that's the first thing I would say. I would generally agree with him, but I didn't take my comment about the six rate cuts uh, from just the Fed Fund futures market. Look at how the two year is priced right now at 490, which by the way is, is actually much more aggressive. Look at where it was priced previously. What is that telling you? That over the period of time on a daily basis, the average of the overnight rate will be X over time. So that is telling you right now that the market sees the, sees the Fed as more restrictive over time. Before, when it was down lower, it was telling you it would, it would be lower and there would be some cuts built in, as well as the forecast of economists. Um, my issue is not, is the market right or wrong? I don't actually think the market gets it well, wrong. Well, it's not I what you said, market, though. Let, let me you just said say, the let me market finish, was wrong. Let, let, me, let me finish the thought, though, Rick, real quick. Which in is, bold I, letters. Yeah, the, the, the market is... is can price it wrong, but my interest is not that that, that 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 happened. It's how the Fed is communicating such that the market prices in that eventuality. That to me who actually, cares? Rick. Who cares? What do you mean? Who cares? What do you, you mean? Who Fed, cares? It, the Fed is guesswork. It gives fodder for many that don't really understand the market. Are movement. you out of your mind? Traders have to That's live crazy or die. Talk. Traders have to live and how do they respond? by what they trade. By what Rick, they trade. You Rick, think yes, that you yes. think that those guys know the future any better than they anybody? They don't, but they're trading. Truly, but but my but friend, they are certainly. Matters. They are but certainly the Rick, trading. And the they emperor's are, been naked for a decade. Steve, I don't need to show you a chart. Rick, Rick, hold, and then we'll I, come back to you. Go, Steve. I, I don't need to show you a chart, Rick, to show that the market and your trader friends out there trade on every verb, every adjective, every period, every comma spoken okay. by the Federal right. Reserve. So my and question is this. And I know traders that trade on full moons, new moons, and where Jupiter is in the sky. Okay. And, and they're big traders, huge hedge funds. So what does that mean? Well, I don't know what it means, Rick, but my point is that exactly. if, you're arguing, if you're arguing that it doesn't matter what the Fed says, I think we're living I didn't in say it reality. doesn't matter. I'm saying that when the Fed talks, it doesn't mean that they're going to get the market right. It doesn't mean that the market is going to no, pay attention. No, but and, it's issue... sure, and here's another thing. QT, QT, embedded in these minutes is another surrender, okay? Because the Fed understands that the Treasury is sweating bullets. 
that the Fed doesn't lower rates, doesn't ease the cost of servicing the debt. So now what they do is they're going into the QT mode. And you know what? The QT mode should exist and it should stay because they should right. be nervous that if they keep right. it in the seven trillion camp, the next time we run into a problem, which is probably right around the corner, what are we gonna do? Move it up to $11 trillion? Where do we draw the line? My interest rate is in getting policy right for the greatest aggregate good. My interest is public. monitoring the market. It's the only reality okay. we really have. So my Period. question becomes, when the market prices it wrong, how did the Fed There's no pricing it wrong. or communicate? There's no wrong pricing. There's no wrong pricing. What's wrong? Okay. Are the next two meetings showing any easy? Those are the the next meeting is the only one that is a well, valid they representation. They did previously, and right, economic right. forecasters also. What did we learn today? It. Did we learn something new today? If the Cubs sure. get a better pitcher and staff, or if the Cubs get a new Roger Maris, does it not change their chances for a World Series? It does. What are yeah. you going to be stagnant all the time? No. No, come no. on. Steve. You got to change. You got to change, Rick. I, think. So right. I guess we got to go, Rick, but perhaps we'll continue this at another time. All right, we do have to leave it I there. I think Jeff. we will. I think we will. Doggone it. We will. And sooner than the next eclipse. Rick Santelli, Steve Leisman. Do we gentlemen. think uh, rocket scientists have as rocket few scientists? After that, rocket scientists are okay. Yeah. <laughs>